Yeah, I promised uh, back a couple months ago that I'd do a video um, on all the stuff I'd been picking up in the last few months. So uh, it's a lot of football and a lot of basketball, a little bit of baseball, but I'm going to showcase those real quick, kind of give you an idea of what I've been looking to pick up uh, during this whole uh, pandemic. So uh, some of the stuff I've had from back in the day, uh, some of the old vintage, I have picked up some 55 Bowman, but stuff like this uh, 68 Johnny Unitas, really nice 8, and then like that Gale Sayers. You know, eight really nice old vintage stuff I've had for a while. Had a lot of 80s stuff. I, I really enjoyed collecting 80s football. It's blown up recently. I've got another Montana and eight put away in a safe. Because at the, uh, yeah, it's about my safe deposit back at the bank with a lot of my other Ma Peyton Manning cards that I invested heavily in. Uh, over $4,000 in Peyton Manning stuff. Um, much higher end than what you're seeing here. This is all kind of eights and nines of the lower end stuff. The, uh, the high-end stuff, you know, like this is got a couple of his tops Chrome rookies, a couple. I have three of his Flair Showcase rookies numbered at 250. And then uh, some Randy Moss. I picked up quite a few Moss, too, this spring before he kind of blew. I know he's, he's, he's not blown up, but he's definitely his cards have shot up quite a bit. And then this guy, Woodson, as well, picked up him because I just thought, you know, he was the best corner of his uh, generation, probably. Then I got several of these Flare Showcases, number 200. Got these all from the same seller. You know, I'm not a big BGS guy, but that's the way they came. And so I would have probably paid the price I paid for these graded just raw. But uh, And then uh, some Mannings, too. I have, didn't pick them all up in PSA, so that's a really cool row one from his rookie Flare year. Even uh, Stoops to low has to get a couple BCGs. Uh, don't ever pay more than you would for a raw copy in a BCG because it really is pretty much a raw copy. Then even a GMA, uh, just a few bucks for that kind of stuff here and there. And then uh, some more Peterson, right? I picked up quite a few Peterson, and the key is it had to be a refractor. So here's an X-fractor. Uh, there's a refractor here. Uh, you see the theme. A ref couple of refractors and Dominican Sioux rookie. And then several Manning refractors down there too on a no-name uh, grading company. Once again, when those no-name grading companies, I'm just paying what I would pay for them raw. Some SGC Manning rookies. After I was done collecting all the 98 rookies I wanted, I was picking up some 99 rookies and primarily Edron James. So several of his refractors. Let's see, refractor, refractor, refractor kind of a refractor that flare showcase you know they're not all refractors going down but you kind of see the theme that i was looking at going after some of these refractors while they were still priced to buy and then uh ricky williams too a refractor just because it was so cheap i think i paid less than 20 bucks for that because he's a 10,000 yard back probably not a hall of famer but for less than 20 bucks i can definitely get a refractor rookie of him and then here are the uh, the original i was looking at getting these uh these uh Peterson refractors, refractors, and they're not all refractors, but there's several refractors of him, some refractors of, um, let's see what we got. Okay, more Petersons. There's an AJ Green refractor. Uh, some Larry Fitzgerald refractors in here too somewhere. And then uh, another guy, Tony Gonzalez. I, I put a little bit of investment in Gonzalez. I got several of his Chrome rookies, uh, stuff like this. Just a gorgeous uh, Flair Showcase Row Zero. Man, I could look at that card all day long, not get tired of it. And you see kind of like his Chrome Rookie. Only uh, tight end with over 15,000 receiving yards. And then my old bread and butter stuff I had been collecting as a for the past few years. Kind of some of this stuff has really blown up. Like even the Defenders now you see are, are getting pretty popular. Like that LT card really picked up. And a couple of Ronnie Lott rookies. I've got pretty much every, I do have every rookie from the 80s. It's a, it's a significance for football and picked them up over the last few years. But uh, primarily the football that I was investing in was in 98 and 99 and those flare showcases. So I'm going to pause this and turn around and show the basketball just one moment. Okay, and I'm back on the other side here. Now we're on the basketball side. And uh, I probably tripled my basketball card collection over the last few months. That's probably been my focus. So all these Ray Allens, like that whole stack there is Ray Allen. 
Uh, he's a guy I invested heavily in. I was looking to get guys from the 96 draft, 97 draft, 98 draft, guys that are Hall of Famers or soon to be Hall of Famers. And you can see I've got some Ray Allens in SGC, uh, BGS, primarily PSA. I have got a ton of raw too. Raw Ray Allen, raw Steve Nash. I've, I, got, I mean, I've got a ton uh, of those raw rookies. Uh, the great thing is, uh, I'll do another video on those at some point. Uh, my whole vintage collection of Elvin Hayes. I mean, it's almost a near complete run. Over here, a vintage collection of Pete Maravich. I'm missing his rookie and his 70, uh, 72. Other than that, it's a complete run. And then some random vintage that's really gotten hot right here. That stuff I had primarily, that was like my basketball collection. And then, of course, my Kevin Garnett collection. Man, I got a ton of Garnett. Those are all Garnett rookies for the most part. And uh, over here, some random BGS rookies. You see the Vince Carter Chrome. Once again, focusing on that 98 class in his case. Kobe, all Kobe rookies right here. Behind them, a very popular set. Uh, so that's everything 86 Fleer up to 90 Fleer. And there, actually, it's more like 89 Fleer. I don't think I even have any 90 Fleer, with the exception of a Michael Jordan. My Michael Jordan collection right there, all Jordans, all Tim Duncan rookies. Uh, some more Kobe in various SGC, BGS format. Steve Nash. I've got an amazing ungraded Steve Nash collection. And it's just because people haven't. They don't send his stuff in to get graded. As He's not nearly as gradable as uh, other guys. Uh, like like Allen Iverson and stuff like that. So it will catch up. I mean, this stuff has got the value that people are sending stuff in. I was able to buy. I, I mean, I have hundreds of his rookie. I think we're talking over 100 of his rookies, just raw. We're talking tops, talking tops finest. I mean, this stuff that, that's going, you know, for $60, $70 a card, I was able to pick up for 3 or $4 a card here a, a few months ago, probably like five, six months ago. Uh, I started focusing on stuff from the from the early 90s as well. Anthony Hardaway, Chris Weber, and then from the 94 class, uh, some Jason Kidd and Grant Hill. Now, uh, I'm sorry, going back. So we talked about the 96. Got a little bit of uh, Allen Iverson right there. But I showed you the Duncan collection. Tracy McGrady, another guy that you can get his cards fairly inexpensive, but a Hall of Famer and a uh, generational talent who just got hurt. Uh, here we go. Now we're looking at the class of 98. Paul Pierce is probably the best value collector. Like the, If you're looking to get Hall of Famers at an incredible value, you can get these Paul Pierce rookies and eights for around $10 a pop. So less than it probably costs to even have them graded. Uh, Vince Carter at a little bit more expensive. And then another guy, Dirk Nowitzki, man, one of the greatest scorers of all time. And you're probably going to pay less than 20 bucks for most of his rookie cards. Now compared to what the modern guy, like, you can't give him a prospect card for 20 bucks nowadays. So these cards from 98, extremely underpriced. So my recommendation for you, go get some of these 98 guys. All three of these guys are going to be Hall of Famers. And then I've got some uh, GMA cards, too, that I bought. Quite a few Nash GMAs. I mean, I literally paid 2 or $3 for these. You couldn't get these cards for that price raw now. And looks like I got some other BGS uh, rookies from the 98 in the back. And uh, a few other SGC cards. But that's kind of what I've been looking at. I've been looking to get the uh, the undervalued stuff. I by no means buy modern stuff. So, I mean, look, I'll show you my... Here's a little look in my office. And I've got some um, some hoops and some uh, prism. Got down here the... Um, what is... It? <laughs> I don't even know what it is anymore. It's just basketball cards right I got these all at the Walmart you can't even get anything at Walmart anymore there's just nothing left to buy so I bought all these last spring behind in that box I have a bunch of 18 19 basketball that I all bought out of the clearance bin you know stuff that's going for 300 bucks a blaster now that I was paying you know 15 bucks for the uh, holiday hoops you know with the Luka Donna six years and Donna six a great player man don't get me wrong but you know what this is the stuff that I grew up watching, my heroes, and that's the stuff I choose to collect. No offense to you other young bucks who got your Luca cards going on. It just I think ultimately in game, those cards are gonna they're gonna I mean, there could be a few guys that keep their value, but I think they're gonna crash and crash hardcore. Meanwhile, 
these three Hall of Famers, you can all buy them for 10 to 15 bucks. So that's kind of my strategy. And that's the strategy I took into when I invested that, um, that big chunk of money I did. But uh, that's, that's, a, that's a rough uh, cut of what I've got. I plan on doing a Ray Allen video with all the raw and uh, the graded two to show them in more detail. And I'll work my way through some of this other stuff in detail, maybe a Duncan collection. I'd love to show you my raw Steve Nash collection because it's just amazing the stuff I was able to pick up uh, <laughs> for the price. But uh, once again, everyone, appreciate your posts, your comments, and I'll talk to you again soon.